Hello and welcome to Battle of Heavyweights, round five. Round five begins now. All right, the purpose of this round is to figure out what happens when there is no matching value found, right? In other words, I try to find 102 and it's not in the lookup range. What happens? That's the difference we're trying to analyze in this round. So let's start with VLOOKUP equals VLOOKUP. Go find this in table one, return the value second column. And VLOOKUP has really two, two options for the fourth argument, true and false. So let's just, let's just try them both. What happens if we're doing a VLOOKUP true or approximate match? Close function, enter. We get 101, 391, 101, 391. That looks good. Let's fill it down and, hmm. 102 is returning 391, but 102 is not here. 103 is 281, 104 is not here, but it's returning 281, so what's the deal? VLOOKUP TRUE is performing a range lookup. That is, it's, it's not looking for an exact matching value, it's looking for a value that falls between a range of values. 102 falls between 101 and 103, so it stays here until it gets to 103, and then it moves down this list. Let's see what happens if we do a VLOOKUP FALSE equals VLOOKUP. Go find this in table one, return the value second column, FALSE or zero for exact match, and enter. 391, let's fill it down and, okay, interesting. We get an error. This is saying, sorry, 102 is not in the list. I'm gonna give you an error. That error trickles down throughout all of the dependent formulas, okay? So that's what happens with VLOOKUP when no match is found. Let's see what happens with some ifs equals some ifs. We want to go add up this column of numbers. We only want to include those rows where check num column is equal to our check num close function and enter. 391, same value as VLOOKUP. Let's go ahead and fill this down and interesting. There's no error. So our total is, is, um, is fine. And so this is the difference between some ifs and VLOOKUP when no matching value is found. So who wins the round? How do we score this round? Well, we ask ourselves, which one would we use if we were trying to do something similar in practice? And the answer here is, for me, it really depends on, on the context or, or the workbook or what I'm trying to accomplish. For example, if I'm doing a list comparison or, or some kind of a reconciliation and I want to know that 102 is not in this list, I like seeing this error because it tells me for sure that that value does not appear. And a zero simply tells me that the sum of the matching rows are zero, which means I could have two rows that, you know, one's positive and one's negative, and so I get a zero. So I can't know for sure that 102 does not appear in this list. But on the other hand, if I'm building a summary report and I don't want the error and I don't want that error to trickle down, um, then I would go with some ifs. So who wins the round? It's a draw because it really just depends on what we're working on. Okay, so both functions are getting 10 points for this round. All right, so that leaves us at the end of round five with a score of 46 to 48. All right, um, so that's the difference. And hopefully this is um, a fun way to, to examine the differences between these two heavyweight functions. All right. Hey, thanks. See you in round six. Have a great day. This video is a production of Excel University.